values of AV. So we need to go, go to a new page. Okay, so what I've done now, I've got a clean page and I've gone back to my original schematic diagram. We know what bounds we're going to put on there. What we now need to do is we need to translate this circuit into a small signal equivalent model. Small signal equivalent model. Okay, SSEM. So, what's our FET look like? So, I'm going to draw a loop here. We have the gate. We then have a current source. Okay, so this is our source terminal. And down here, sorry, source terminal down here, this is our drain terminal. And we then have a term here called VDS. Remember, we're not actually creating any current going into our FET designs. So that's the way this one works. Down here, this current source is GM VDS. Okay, so it's a voltage control current source. Uh, what we do have here, we have some feedback. The feedback in this case is RS. So let's label that one. RD2, well, I'm just going to call it RD in this circuit. Okay, RD. And this is where we have our equation for, or, or our output signal, VD. And on the input here, we have a resistor, RG. And this is Vn. So what we need to do in this model is calculate the equation for V out, calculate the equation for Vn, and then calculate um, AV. So let's start with the simplest term, V out. V out equals, let's just have a look around here. Uh, what I'll do, I'll just change color, and I'll put on some Kirchhoff's voltage loop you can see what's actually happening inside our circuit. Okay. V out is going to be a function of GMGS here. This current source feeding through this loop and round here. So in effect, our current source is quite straightforward to calculate. So we have our resistance, our D, multiplied by GM VGS. Okay, and that's this loop around here. So that's the E one. Let's now calculate our equation for Vn. Okay, Vn comes across this resistor, so in effect we will lose signal into Rg, and it doesn't do anything for us. So what we're doing is we're effectively loading whatever the generator is that's feeding this signal in, dissipating current for no gain. So. A signal arrives at the gate node of the FET. No prints taken by the FET. We simply have VGS. And then we've got this feedback. This resistor here is effectively feeding back some signal. So that's going to feed back GM VGS RS. So let's write out the expression. Okay, so we've accounted for this vol drop to the source, and then we've accounted for this current source feeding into this resistor, providing feedback voltage, which is this term. So now let's calculate our AV. AV is equal to V out over V in. So let's write out our uh, V out expression. That's here. RD, GM. VGS, all divided by these two terms, VGS plus GM VGS RS. As we can see now, what's effectively going to happen is we're going to cancel a great deal of component, a great deal of values. Let's start off with VGS. VGS present in all terms. What about GM? If I divide by GM, it can vanish from these two terms, but it's not present here, so this one will become 1 over GM. Okay, so we'll just rewrite our AV equation. RD, drain resistance, divided by 1 over GM. 
you might often see that referred to as RM rather than GM plus RS. Okay, and that's it. We've now calculated our gain based upon this component and this component, in effect, for our FET based design. If we put numbers into this, we'll effectively calculate what the actual gain is of this circuit. So I'll do that down here. A V is equal to 4,000. We had 4K in the drain location, RD. 1 over GM. Okay, well, GM is 1 over 500. So 1 over 1 over 500 is 500. Plus, and RS was 500. 4,000 divided by 1,000 equals a gain of 4. Okay, there's our value of AV. So we've now performed a design of a FET best amplifier and we have created a gain, in this case, of 4. Not particularly high gain, but it's not bad. If I were to add on to here a bypass capacitor, okay, let's call that C, um, CS, bypass capacitance, we would still have this term here because that's 1 over GM. Can't get rid of that. So we can only get rid of this one. Therefore, the gain at maximum could only go towards 8, which will be 4,000 divided by 500. Okay, so the FET based amplifiers, they're not going to give you a great deal of voltage gain. Okay, something to note. But you've not done this before, you've not done a design like this before, so this is quite important. All the other questions inside the seminar sheet for FETs are all about taking apart a design, not actually doing 